Ian Yong Impact Young claimed that he will show better performances in the quarterfinals. Cloud9, where Impact is a player, entered the quarterfinals on October 15 with SKT T1 after the group stage on day 8 of the League of Legends World Championship 2017 currently being held in Wuhan, China. C9 has become the last hope of N after all the other teams have been dropped from the league. Below is the full text of the interview with Impact after the match. Q. You've placed second in your group and entered the quarterfinals. How do you feel? Although we've advanced, I think we could have also won our game against SKT. But our concentration dwindled as the game went on, and a number of mistakes piled up and gave us a loss but we managed to make it thanks to the result we had last week. Q. What have you guys talked about while watching the match between SKT T1 and EDG? We left and started preparing for the next match when the kill score was 0-6 in favor of EDG. But then SKT aced the enemy team all of sudden. I was wondering what was going on as teammates were going crazy, and found out that the enemy team threw the game. I personally wanted to advance with our own skills, and that part was a bit disappointing. Q. C9 managed to get to the quarterfinals, and you have become the last hope of Nas. All of the other teams were dropped from the league. SKT helped us get to the quarterfinals last year too, but I really wanted to advance by winning on our own. It's still disappointing that we couldn't focus better, but I'm glad that we made it as 2 and D. Q. There are many comments saying that the match against SKT T1 was a close one. We were too conscious of SKT and feared them, and we became reckless and made mistakes, which led us to be unable to play as a team. I think that's also how EDG lost to SKT. We lost because we didn't keep to our own pace when we should have. I uh, nailed that part. They waited for SKT to make the first move and manage the game slowly. I think that's the factor that we and EDG lacked at the time. Q. Would you like to share any words with NA fans who must be cheering for you really hard? I also never expected the other two NA teams to be dropped from the league. I thought they were more than good enough, but they just collapsed so fast. I became nervous thinking that could also happen to us. I was nervous after losing in the first match, and even after the second match. I became internally weakened after giving the solo kill to Maokai. I regained my confidence by winning the match, though. Q. The group formation is yet to be revealed, which team would you like to face? I would like to avoid Longzhou. They are really strong in the early game, and we tend to lose the game faster when we lose our pace early. Team We would be the team I would like to face. Whereas RNG is a good team that takes good care of Uzi. We seems like the one with a completely opposite gameplay. They do well when they have a good early game, and vice versa. That's why I would like to meet we. Please note that this interview was done before the group formation was commenced. Q. Are you confident that you'll advance from the quarterfinals? We have nowhere to fall. We have so many things we have yet to show our fans, and we want to have different yet good performances in the quarterfinals. We showed somewhat disappointing moments in today's match, and we definitely want to do better for the remaining matches. Q. Any last words to share? We always become the hope of not all of a sudden. I believed that TSM would make it to the quarterfinals. I was told that C9 has always been the last hope of the NAW since the year of 2013. We will do our best to make entertaining matches in the quarterfinals.